The first time personally I ever used Wi-Fi on a laptop was at a Nobel conference back in the 90s. They rented out the little PC cards that slid, slid inside of a laptop in those days for Wi-Fi access. And it was like, oh my gosh, the best thing ever. Well, Wi-Fi has come a long way since then. And in this video, I'd like to walk you through how simple it is to set up a Wi-Fi mesh network using Google Wi-Fi in just a few minutes. All right, so let's take a look at the unboxing. First of all, probably the hardest part of this is to, is to get it out of the box. It's pretty elegant wrapping. Uh, it did take me about 30 seconds to figure out how to get that outer sleeve off. Anyway, so we're gonna open it up and there are three devices. These are all access points. They call them Google Wi-Fi points and they're all identical except for their serial number perhaps and the MAC address. But as far as their functionality, uh, we can use any one of them in any place. All three of them are going to work together. There's three power adapters with a little transformer and a USB-C connector. And there's one Ethernet cable and a little instruction card. And that's it. So we're going to start off with one of these Wi-Fi points for the initial config. Now, once we have the Google Wi-Fi points out of the box, the next step would be to download and install the Google Wi-Fi app. And once we install it and log in, we're ready to start the configuration. Now, the, I guess one of the challenges is that if we have the Google Wi-Fi app, we need to have the actual Wi-Fi points plugged in. So what we do is take our Wi-Fi points and we take the power with the supplied power cable and we simply go ahead and power them on. So we go ahead and plug it in. So it has power, this is a USB-C cable. Also with the provided ethernet cable, this ethernet cable, which has these, uh, networking connections on both ends. This is commonly referred to as an RJ45 connector. So it's just the, the number that was available when they were building this type of jack many, many years ago. This is a typical ethernet connection. So what we would do is we take our, in this case, this is the cable modem. So from the service provider, my, which in my case is Cox cable, I've got the coax cable coming in. And then from this one port, this ethernet port, I put one end of this cable, it clicks into position. And the other end of that cable, I would go ahead and plug into the port with a little picture of the green world on it, meaning the connection that goes to the internet. And we simply click it there. And that's our physical connectivity. Now, another piece that I want to point out for this device, which is going to be acting as our router and our initial access point, is that the configuration from the app, it's going to find the access point, this Google Wi-Fi point, and it's going to find it via Bluetooth. So if you're one of those people that turns off their Bluetooth all the time, on your phone, we're going to be configuring the Wi-Fi points. Go ahead and enable Bluetooth so the app can find the Wi-Fi point. So once I've launched the app, it's asking if we want to get started. We'll click on Get Started. I'm going to click on Create New Network. Click on Next. And now it's looking for the device. And this is again using Bluetooth to find this first Wi-Fi point. It says Wi-Fi point found. Great news. And now it's asking me to go ahead and scan the QR code. And the QR code is on the underside here. So we can scan this QR code to continue the installation. So I'll click on scan code. It got the code and we'll continue on with the installation. It's now asking me to plug in the ethernet cable, which we did just a few moments ago. So the cable goes from the Google Wi-Fi point over to my cable modem device. And that would also be true if we were using DSL, whatever the device is from the internet service provider that has that ethernet connection, that's where we connect it to. So I just took a moment to actually plug in my cable modem so I'd have internet connectivity because the Google Wi-Fi point's actually looking to see whether or not it has access and connectivity to the internet. So now that I have it plugged in to a working network connection, it then lets us go ahead and continue with the installation in the app. Next, it's asking us to label where this device is gonna be. For the benefit of looking at the app, we can say, oh, we have three Wi-Fi points and they'll be labeled based on what we specify. So I'm gonna specify this first one is going to go in my office. So I'm gonna click on office and then click on next. And next, it's asking me for the name for the wireless network. And I'm gonna call this one OG. IT for the original gangster of IT and I'll click on next. Next it's asking us for a password for the wireless network which I'll supply and click on create network. Next it's asking for permission to analyze some of our data so you can say yes or no to that based on your preferences. I'm going to say no and then it's taking a moment to go ahead and create the Wi-Fi network using this initial Wi-Fi point. Now after we have this Wi-Fi point in it's the router and access point number one we can then add the other two hockey pucks, the other two Wi-Fi points in other rooms in our home or location to build that mesh network with Google Wi-Fi. 
So next it's asking me, do I have additional Wi-Fi points that I'd like to install as part of this mesh network? If the answer is yes, we can specify how many we're gonna add, click on next, and it's gonna walk us through powering on, identifying the next one, scanning it, and then placing it where we want to in our environment. So this main one is here in my office. I'm gonna put another one in my loft, and we'll put another one downstairs near my kitchen. So adding the other two, just by following the instructions on the app were really simple. I plugged them into power, and one in the loft, one downstairs in the living room. I scanned the barcode or the QR code on the back of those devices when the app asked me to. It then did a quick upgrade to upgrade the firmware on those devices, and then boom, it's done. And everywhere in my house right now, the garage, the kitchen, all the bedrooms, anywhere I go, I've got at least 100 megabits per second, and sometimes more, depending on where I'm at. But I mean, to get no dead spots anywhere, that is way, way cool. And the whole setup is really, really quick and efficient. And for that reason, Google Wi-Fi, it's a home run. This is a great success with this deployment of Mesh Wi-Fi. So this is pretty quick and easy. And I also wanted to do a demonstration of setting up Ubiquiti's Amplify HD product, which is yet another Mesh Wi-Fi solution for homes and businesses where they don't want to have any dead spots. So I'll see you in that video as well. Meanwhile, have a great day and may your Wi-Fi be solid as a rock.